Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this episode of What a Horse. Yep. Good show this weekend. A real good show. They had a ton of horses. Yes. They, they went over 300. Oh, that's a and nice that's, show. That's, that's a good, good show. Well, you're on. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> you get back. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback. Western and Trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is a perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Welcome back. I got a couple of announcements here. Walking for the Angels is 28th, 29th, that's this weekend at Belfast. Call Julie Graham, Graham 931-619-2520. Start time Friday is 5, Saturday is 4. Mike Kelly, Dickie Shrivener, and Chris Zane will mark the cards. And then the final two shows of the year, which yes, are going to be good ones. The Celebration Fall Classic, November 3rd through the 5th at the Calsonic. Call the Celebration, 931-684-5915 for information. Start time is 6 p.m. each night. Jennifer Bingham, Robert Cortner, and David Sisk will mark the cards. And then you've got the United Walking Horse Finale, November 10th through the 12th, Tunica, Mississippi. Contact D. Cantrell, 706-366-1011, Tom Mink, 615-426-6199, or Sarah Smith, 9315805085, uh, or Margo Ured, 972-772-1390. Jamie Hankins, Newton Parks, and Aaron Self will mark the cards. And I'm staying Sam's town. Oh. <laughs> that that's uh, I know Hollywood is the host hotel, but Sam's town. I've I've always enjoyed it. Sam Sam's town never had a bad experience, and I think they get rooms you get for eighty one to one hundred and four dollars a night. So that's not that bad. Yeah. That's pretty good pricing. Uh, I want to. Well, I still have some jewelry, just just a tad. So. We're going to run through this. 
just give me a holler. I'll get with you. I got to meet a couple of people already to leave some items with them, so I won't have all of these uh, that you're seeing now. Uh, it's going to go pretty quick. So it's Christmas time. Yeah, it's Christmas time. The people really already know. buying for Christmas. Yes. Everybody, everybody wants something special for somebody. That's right. So uh, I'm going to make sure they get it. Yep. So anybody think I'm special? I'm here. <laughs> Buy me something. <laughs> All right. I, I want I want to get everybody to do one thing. It, uh, this is a serious note here. Allie Jo Jacobs, she is under the weather. So please, everybody, keep Allie Jo in your prayers, because this young lady right here is one poster child. Look how small she is on that horse. I told her, I said, she would not weigh 100 pounds if you put rocks in her pocket. But she's very important to this industry, and right now she's a little under the weather. She loves them horses. She, she loves them with a passion. She loves them. She's right I'm there. I'm being a passion. I sure will be praying mm -hmm. for her. <laughs> she's a good person. Her her whole family, Jake, the whole, they, they are. just, they're they're just good nice all the way around. And then, <laughs> this I love. Uh, I believe you were standing there when I uh, got us a new blacksmith, wasn't you? Wasn't you standing there when I got Reese? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you was. Yeah. Uh, she said she would give us a prize. She gave us a prize. I, <laughs> I haven't talked to her dead yet, but <laughs> we, we, we was in the concession stand together, and she had some money. She turned and looked at me and says, what do you want? <laughs> I said, that's all right. But I want you all to look at this. Now, th this is a young lady that's taken after her daddy. Right there, now watch her. I mean, she ain't missing a lick. <laughs> Re Reese told me when I asked her to do the, uh, come up and shoot the horse, she said, okay. She said she was looking for a dead then. That's right. She ain't that something, though? I mean, she don't miss a lick. Yeah. I'm going to tell him she looks <laughs> a lot better than a dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she getting the job done. That's so right. She wasn't wasting no time. She was, mm -hmm. she was flat. You know, using that rasp, the, the, most of the trainers now, they're used the grinder. Grinder, yeah. That girl's doing it the hard, hard way. way. That's right. The old-fashioned way. <laughs> old-fashioned. Let's get with That's it. Right. Get with it. Well, you, uh, you're you going over to walking for the Angels this weekend. Yes. And then you're headed to Tunica. No, you're headed to the Fall well, Classic. Classic. In Tunica. In Tunica. Well, well, three of them. Before we do that, let's watch the North Carolina Victory Passes. Then we'll go down there. That'll work. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. North Carolina had a good show. Oh, yeah, they Ferrari, did. Ferrari 308 and Dahlia Smith. That's Dahlia Smith Hart, and I was told that's Dr. Hart uh -huh. for owner Kenny Smith. <laughs> you went up to that show, didn't yes, you? Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. that, they had a real good show. Show was, that's a fun show. I tell you, the crowd get behind you at this show. Oh, oh dang you. They, and they'll change horses in a heartbeat. They will. <laughs> but there's the Paddock Master and Dahlia Smith Har, or Smith and Har, amateur five year old Marin Gildan winner. That's one thing I found out about them when I was up there that, buddy, they like a good horse. And they like that hometown horse. Oh, yeah. But when there's another horse coming in there doing good, they're going to get behind They him. will. I like going to out of town shows this time oh, of I year. Lord, yeah. You know. Georgia, Florida line and Knox Blackburn for Robert Dorch. That's a good horse. That horse there oh. showed. He showed twice, twice up there. Twice up there. That's why. He won the amateur and the open. That's a sign of a really good yes. horse. See, right there he is again. Now he won the, the amateur division. That's one thing I admire. When they go to a show and, and the, the same horse will win two different categories in three nights. Yes. I mean, that, that's saying something about the care that's taken with these horses. Oh, yeah, you're right. And in the past, we've had some of them show three nights three in a row. Three nights in a row. Here's quite an honor and John Allen Callaway for Beth Beasley. Now, that horse made a great show. Buddy Bob Roach furnished us the video from North Carolina. Right there is Paul Simmons and Mr. Farrell. 
That always made a good show. Paul did a real good right job on that horse. I seen we're burying one the other night, yeah. too. Right there he is. It's the medalist in Eli Cunningham for Wilson and Cunningham. Let me know winner. I like the My Town shows because in the morning you watch everybody be out there riding their horse. You yep. get to see the horses and you have like a, this, a big get together. Yep. Well, he won twice. He yes. won. He won the preliminary and then come back and won the championship. And that's that again. That's showing twice at one show. Yeah. Right there's Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. It's a shame she she got sick. She uh, she was going to show down in uh, Alabama. Boy, it just amazes me. Oh, yeah. a little girl her size on a big horse like that. Yeah. Now that's really saying something. But I talked to Jake. Jake said she's better, that's getting good. better. So that's that's the main thing. Right there, Super Bowl MVP and BB Beasley. That horse right there is getting named Mr. Automatic. Yeah. I mean, he showed twice up there, and then he showed again this weekend down in Alabama. Take them horses like that, they like to show. You think yeah. that always love to go on the show? Get out there. And here he is. It's your buddy here. Oh, yeah. Bob's Mr. a good Bob. one. He's a Honored good in guy. Texas. Now, he loved to show them horses. Well, I'm going to tell you, it's a good way to spend time. Yeah. Here's a kingpin. 15 2 and under winner. Blacklister, Summer Brooks. Tell you what, Dwight's got a good horse out oh, yeah. there now. He does. Because she did an outstanding job of showing that horse. Really did. Oh, he's sitting there walking shape. Yeah, he is. Pretty. And right there, twisted with honors, Allison Armstrong and Joe Manis. Allison did a great job. I think yeah. Joe was a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Here's I'm big enough than Maxine Beasley. <laughs> Tell you what, these kids and these ponies, that yeah. one showed again this weekend. El Hombre in black and Jimmy McCall for Jake Jacobs. Jimmy's got that horse's number, I oh, do yeah. believe. He does. He is flat putting it on it. That horse there, you'll start hearing a lot about him. Oh, yeah. And here's Honor and Remember and Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. You can't you can't beat that right there. I mean, that's... No. Does he, it easy? He... he Yes, we got a lot of great four-year-olds. That, that's that's one thing we've got. Oh yeah. So we're going to have a lot of aged, good aged horses, which means we're going to have a lot of good offsprings. That's right there. Right there is the amateur championship. Jose, it ain't so. I believe that's the only horse. 
to ever meet. You exactly right. <laughs> Facts. He's the only one. Mm -hmm. Only time that was ever been beat by this horse right here. Yep. Jose and A. Son, I believe it was a four year old, wasn't it? Yep. Wasn't they four year old? No, three. Three year old? Was it three year old? Jonathan yep. Watts. That's right. That's right. You're right. 100%. Yep. All right. What do we got now? We're going to go to Alabama, and we've even got interviews in Alabama because we, we interviewed several people down there, and, and some of them did, did some uh, remarkable things. That was a good show down there in Alabama. Yeah. Really well, Beth show. Collins, first time she'd ever been there, and she won. Okay. Be very first time she'd ever gone to that arena, and she the last time they're going to have a show, and she you wins the class. Mm -hmm. And uh, Carol Baxter, her 15-2 horse, won amateur and open. So That's a good horse. Hey, he is. Horse. But the best thing was an uh, interview with Mark Farrell, which is in this segment, uh, with some fantastic information. I mean, it's... It has to do with the fundraiser we're going through right now. So here we go. But there's your amateur 15, two and under class. It's a real good class right here. It was, it was tough. Form a line, and Carol Baxter won the blue in this class. Punisher and Ashley Ray was reserved. Charlie's Phantom, Peggy Mervine, and Cash is bold and fresh. Carol Counts finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to tell you, Carol Baxter and that horse right there, that is a walking horse, period. Yeah. Deal. He's him and Jonathan done a good job with Josh. No, Josh, good job with Josh, Josh, they do. Yeah, yeah. they do a good job. Good but job they, they work hard. They yeah. stay at it. Form a line and Carol Baxter. You know they get up early in the morning. I don't know if you know this. Mm -hmm. They get up early in the morning and train horses and have to leave by twelve because both of them um, coaches coach basketball. That's it. That's good. Yep. But there she is. I tell you what, I, I interviewed Carol. She she is a super, yeah, super a nice person. Lady. I've been knowing Miss Carol for a long time. But she she's a nice lady. I'm sitting here with Mark Farrell of Tweba. And Mark, you just told me some real good news about the uh, United Show for Tunica. I'm, I'm really enthused over that. We're, we're pretty excited. You know, when, when we talk about it being a united effort, it, it truly has been between, you know, Tweba and the trainers and Fast and the celebration. And now, you know, Rack and Horse Association has supported it as well. And all of us are doing it because, you know, we want to raise money for the Legal Defense Fund. And, you know, we know it's going to take a lot over the next couple of years. So we've got some pretty lofty goals and we want to, you know, make a, a big presentation there of, of a check. I know I had a lady call me the other day and she told me that she didn't own a horse, but she loved watching them and she wanted to make a contribution. I told her to call a celebration, which uh, since then I found out that we want everybody to call in and make contributions, but they need to call Jeffrey Howard at, at, the, at the report. He told me to let, that they could use him as a contact because he, he's involved in all of it. Matter of fact, next week, uh, Jeffrey's going to do a presentation that we're going to video and put out the same one he did a couple of weeks ago when everybody, I think the 11th, right. everybody came in because they was talking. Some people didn't get to see it. A lot of Alabamians didn't get to see it. So he said that he would do another one and we're going to put it out and let, let everybody get involved in it because it's important. It is. And I, I think if you go to the FAST website, they have a mechanism where you can make a donation online and it's tax deductible right. and all that. On, on the fast website and you know we're the this this fall finale horse show this united fall finale horse show you know we're 
we're in excess of $100,000 in sponsorships right now. Dee Kentrell and Sarah Smith have worked their tails off. Um, we've got around 200 stalls reserved, and we're still and they're still coming in. So, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a great show. We're going to have a party on Thursday night. We're going to have brunch in center ring Thursday, Friday, and Saturday morning while horses are working and music out there. And we want to we want this we want this to be the the last show of the year and a fun show for for everybody. Well, I can tell you, in the past, the Tunica show has been a blast, and I yeah. I love. I, we was talking about it today. I like to play three card poker. But if you called me and said, Jerry, let's run to Tunica and play cards, I'd say, no, I ain't got time. But while you're there, the camaraderie and everybody just sits around and has a good time in the show. Now, I know uh, Dee told me that they can still get some tables at $1,500 yep. a table, and that includes eight chairs with eight meals a night. And she, she made a point to... Uh, Make sure I knew that Saturday night was steak night. Steak night on Saturday night. That's what everybody, everybody <laughs> people told us, like, we don't care what you give us those first two nights. Just don't mess with our steak on Saturday night. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you said people can still, and this is important. That's what I want everybody to know. That's one of the reasons we're live streaming this show is so people know that they can get involved in, in this. I know Frank Eichler has done a tremendous amount of work, uh, and we've got a good law firm. So, but we still need people to call in and make contributions, and they can do it through fast. They can do it through Jeffrey Howard. They, they yeah. can probably call you too. Yeah, we're. I mean, we're all we're all given supporting this at the end of the day, and so whether it's you know ten dollars a month or a hundred dollars a month or just what whatever people can help with, there's there's no amount too small. And and honestly, you know, it's it's that's what it's going to take now to get this over the over the finish line. Is it's going to take you know. People like people like me and you that that can't maybe write a huge check, but we can give a little bit every month and, and support That's it. That's it. There's always something you can do. I, I know that the different people and a lot of non-horse people, they really, I mean, the walking horse and some of the other breeds, they need to realize that this is a domino. I mean, yeah. we, we're a domino. Once we fall, it's just going to keep going down and have that rotation. Where equine industry is what they're after. People think it's just a walking horse, but if you read this new law they're wanting to pass, it affects a lot of different breeds, not just a walking horse, yeah. not just the performance horse, the flat shot, all of them. So it's it's something that a lot of people need to get involved in. Well, ho hopefully it'll be a, a fun show and hopefully we'll have a big check to support the legal defense fund at the, when it's all said and done. You know, all the myself, the, the judges, I mean, all of us are donating our fees back to the show and ho ho we want it to be a, a big success. We want it to be a big success, not only with entries and fun, but also in terms of supporting this effort. Well, everybody needs to call the Tweba and sponsor a class if nothing else. Just get in there and sponsor a class, say, hey, Let's hit it. We'll take it. Deb, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll Martin, take it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks buddy. A lot. Uh -huh. It was it's a class. real good class. It's some tough four year olds out there. Quite an honor. And Beth Beasley took the blue. The Mandalorian and Shannon Cotter took, was reserved. Dancing all night. Kelly McGee and my. Reverie, Judith Dow finished out the ribbons. But I'm going to tell you that quite an honor. That's a good horse. That's a great horse. That was some good information that Mark gave it us. Wasn't that, good especially they got in excess of $100,000. But of course, we all know what we're trying to raise. So yeah. the only thing I can say is people, even if it, if you like Mark said, you can give ten dollars a month, twenty dollars a month, a hundred dollars a month. Call fast to commit to it. It's one hundred percent tax deductible. So and it's going for a great cause. Save our industry. Amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan winner. Quite an honor. And Beth Beasley. I told Beth that they they uh, made history because it's the last show. And all the Be the Beasley girls won. Won. That's right. That's <laughs> John Allen had to get in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
We're going to have some more video in a minute, but I think it's time for you to do a, your job one more time. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Did you get a call or message that mentioned Social Security that made you feel threatened or scared? That is not the Social Security Administration. Social Security will not threaten you, press you for personal information, or demand instant payment. Social Security does not accept payments by gift card, prepaid debit card, internet currency, or by mailing cash. Criminals use these forms of payment because they are hard to trace. Don't fall for it. Hang up, ignore them. Report this criminal activity to oig.ssa.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. I don't know who to believe. Me neither. Like, what does transgender mean? And defund the police? What do people mean by me too? Why do people keep saying fake news? My sister and parents kept fighting about that stuff, and now they don't even talk to each other. Hey, go to informyourcommunity.org and get the facts, and have fun while you're at it. Informyourcommunity.org? Yes, and this message is sponsored by Inform Your Community, a nonpartisan nonprofit. Get the facts and have fun at free virtual events. Warning, side effects may include laughing, learning, socializing, friends and family that talk to each other. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, welcome back, people. I tell you, we had a lot. They, they had 179 horses Friday night. And I was told it's about the same amount Saturday night, so they went well over 300. Yeah. But every class had several horses, good ones too. Oh yeah, they had some good horses in that this class. Sean. Park performance class. Now mm -hmm. I thought it was. I mean, I thought there was some real good ones out there. It was packed to the hilt, and it just it, as the night went on, it just yeah. got better. So let's watch the start back with a park performance. <laughs> Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell took the blue in this class for George and Kim Lewis. Always in style, Nora Alexander. True Platinum, Michael Wright for Bill and Paul Sen Sensing. Swish the Net, Larry Latham for Michaela Latham. Jen and Everything, Josh Watts for Dr. John Gladney. And Ragtime Justice, I like that name. And Jamie Lawrence, for Royce Ellison. Don't get no better than that, does it? <laughs> hey, Jamie. I do like that name. Ragtime Justice. I sold a horse named Ragtime, but they changed his name. <laughs> they must not liked it. But I, it was, I forget what it was, something ragtime. It wasn't ragtime justice. How's Jeremy? He's doing good. Good, good. Uh -huh. I know he was under the weather yeah. yesterday. Yeah, he was. Mayor Bill and Dan Waddell, park performance winner for George and Kim Lewis. That's nice right oh, there. Yeah, it is nice. Dan, nice Dan has done good with him. Dan is doing real, Dan is doing real good. He had yeah. a real good year. He is, he's looking for some stall help now. Yeah. Cross tie help. Right here's your amateur ponies, and right there is one that I literally love, buddy. As I am took the blue with Dr. Ann Ray. But my, in all honesty, I was looking at Dark Rain and Taylor Walters for the Molly Walters family. Rammer Jammer, another real good horse with Patty Wilson. The Huntress, Mark McWaters, Anthony Davis, Jaden Jackson, Me and My World, Anna Bingham, I'm Just Kidding, Rhonda Majors, and out from Alcatraz, Jack Bryant. But I really like that dark rain now. Oh, yeah, dark he, rain. He, he walks it and talks it. Oh, we like 
like that dark rain, I tell you. He, he just rears back and walks, buddy. He ain't real big, but he is loud. He is loud. Look at him. Every time you see him, he, he's there doing the same thing every That's show. It. Every time. Every show. He's a nice horse. Taylor does a good job, yeah, though. She, she does. She really she does likes really that horse. Job. You can tell by the way she rides. But he can get it done now. He was reserve winner. You see that something right there? He's taking them feet put up over the rail right there. I know. That's why I'm saying he's little, he's but he's loud. Yeah. Right here is your open specialty championship. We will rock you, and Vince Pruitt took the blue for Chris and Edwin Hutchinson. But Jimmy McConnell and El Nino in black had his supporters for Jake Jacobs. Fly Like an Eagle, Lake Reaver, Reaver was third. Nino's Category 5, John Allen Calloway. Masters Cool Jazz, Edgar Abernathy. In his honor, Josh Wright. The Comanche, Nick Flapkin. And the Yellowstone, Rico Bravo, finished out the ribbons. You know it's loaded. You know, I was really expecting more people there. I really was, because since it was the last one. But because uh, we've been having some pretty, pretty big crowds. And there were several people there, but it wasn't. I'm, I've seen that arena to where you couldn't booze. Oh, yeah. That would be packed. Well, but you know, you had the two different shows there at the same time. Yeah. And you had a few people went over there to East Tennessee. They used to come to this show. Yeah. That's true. So, I mean, you imagine if they didn't have the other show and everybody was down here. I mean, it's, this has been a, a packed house with. Horses. It was packed well, like it was now. I mean, well, it, it was loaded with horses. Right. It was people in the stands is what yeah. surprised me. I just, I just knew there'd be more people there. And always, when you go to North Carolina, you know you're going to have a packed yeah. house. And normally, when you're in Tunica, it's pretty good. Here he is, your reserve winners, El Hombre in Black and Jimmy McConnell for Jake Jacobs. That's a nice horse. Yeah, I, I was going to ask him how he got in the experienced trainer's class at a show, but I, I didn't want to upset him. <laughs> <laughs> he might hurt me. <laughs> Amateur mares and gilded. This one was a heck of a class. Harley Quinn, and Beth Collins took the blue. Miss Dixie Carter and Tyler Walters was reserved. A Pink Floyd, Lisa Baum. She's blue as ice. El Elena Wilson. Jen's Not Kidding, Sister Milligan. America Strong, Bart McWaters. I'm a Mastermind, Jack Heffington. And Jose's Lily Rose, Elizabeth Two, finished out the ribbon. The first time Beth Collins had been to that show, and she left with the blue ribbon. Man. And she was in there with some tough ones. Called. Oh, yeah. Miss Dixie Carter was reserved. And I'm here to tell you, that's a good ho horse, yeah. a real good horse. So, wasn't no cakewalk for nobody in there. No. That's a 
nice horse right there. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, that, that class right there have had several real nice horses yep. in it. It may not have been a great big crowd, but they sure were noisy. Yeah. When they saw a horse they liked, they got oh, they noise, got real noisy, mm -hmm. quick. Amateur Marion Gildon winner, Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. I tell you what, she put on a show. Oh, yeah. I, I was awfully proud of Beth. She is ex-military, buddy. That her doctors with the military told her to go back to doing something she really loved. <laughs> they went and got a horse. <laughs> something else now. Something else. And they were, they, several trainers called that horse. They sure did. Right here is your reserve winner. Another good one. Miss Dixie Carter and Tyler Walters. Taylor Walters is the owner of this one. Damn there, damn. She even I'm sitting here with Beth Collins. We're, we're just trying to keep up with the times. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, Beth, you won your class. I did. And uh, it'll be the last time you get to win one in this place unless you're going to show later tonight. This is my first time being here, too. So it's is the first right? and the last. Yeah. First and last. Well, you picked a good time to come. Yeah. It's a. You know, it, it, this show started in Montgomery, Alabama. I did not know that. And they moved it here. Well, Beth, uh, where are you going from here? Virginia. Oh, you're going back to Virginia. I didn't know. I didn't know maybe you was going to go to back to, to Shelbyville and go to the show next weekend or. The, oh well, now next weekend, I, I, I probably won't show nowhere. I don't like to show back to back weekends and just my personal taste that, unless I'm told to do so. It's going to be kind of cold next weekend. I'm not really but, outdoorsy type. <laughs> <laughs> but the classic, now the classic's going to be a good show. I and, am, I, even if I don't show, or yeah, even if I don't show there, I am going to come down and at least watch that show. Um, it's always been a favorite show of mine um, since they started that. You know, that was the original Tunica date. Right. And then they kind of flip flopped everything around and, and moved and whatever COVID happened. But they're keeping that. it, and that's good. I, I think so too. The only I, big question I have is: Are they making the ring still smaller or not? I, I believe they are. I believe they are selling tables. I know they're selling tunica tables. Uh, D. Cantrell told me a tunica table was fifteen hundred. Right. It included eight seats and. Saturday night was some, steak night. I was gonna say probably some of the best food you'll ever eat in your life. It it Never they had do. Bad food they serve America. real good food there, but I'm looking at the money that's going to be raised for our legal defense, and that that is number one on the list is people making contributions for the legal defense. Well, Beth, we're going to watch a show. I know you got other things to do besides sit here with me, but I'm gonna I, go get Luke. And you gotta go get Luke. Gotta go get Luke, man. <laughs> right. Well, I appreciate you taking time out to talk with us. And tell you, tell you did, I said hi, and I look forward to seeing you at another show. Yeah, I'll be there. Beth is, uh, yeah, she, she's one of a kind. And she, she has a PTSD from the military, uh -huh. and that, that's why they told her that she needed to find something she loves so yeah. she did now right here I'm gonna tell you I thought Taylor had done found her another horse and I found out that no she just borrowed one honor son and Taylor Walters took the blue in the two-year-old stay in class for none other than mr. Jake Jacobs grit and grind Glenda Nichols was reserved Jen shockwave Chet Mills Fox and Logan And that finished out the ribbons.
nice class right here. Yeah, it was. That honors that honors son. Good horse. Real good horse. Link Webb was was talking about this one. Said that uh, he knew that they had it. Uh, Dickie Shribner started it. And I think Jimmy McConnell got it now. Youth ponies. Right there she is, your eventual winner. I'm big enough that Maxine Beasley took the blue for Beth Beasley. A champ and Eli Cunningham was reserved for Wilson and Cunningham. I am Jose Jr. Corbin Parker. Dale So, Kenley Johnson, and that was the class. But I am big enough, and Maxine Beasley. I'll tell you what, them little Beasley girls can oh, yeah, ride. They can. Maybe. But that, that that second place horse is a good one too. <laughs> the, the champ. Yeah. I like that name. There's a movie years ago, probably before your time, called The Champ. And a McLaughlin played the champion. And uh, I, I wish I could think of the guy, the little blonde headed boy, but played his son. But uh, I always, every, every time people say The Champ, I always think about that movie. <laughs> Later on, John Balt played a, when they did a remake of it. But there's the winner. I am big enough than Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley, your neat pony winner. That's a nice pony. Yeah. That's it won up in North Carolina too. Yeah. So they they show their horses quite a bit. And that, that's what makes the industry great. That's right. The youth coming up and, and the Lila. You got the Pretty soon you'll be seeing girls. them in the <laughs> we got age, the Reese, amateur cha Reese, championship classes and it. everything else. Reese Ambernathy, all yeah. of them coming. Reese probably be shooing all of them's horses. Oh, yeah. You're she, right. She'd be the horseshoe around. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, it's your turn. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now, for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, welcome back. Now we're going to go to another 15 to and under class. Same horse, Carol Baxter's horse. Yes. But I also, I interviewed Carol about this, and and she was she was she was literally tickled because I mean, amateur and open, win them both. We need to do that every week. Oh yeah, that's right. All right, All right video's ready. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. 
and I am with Carol Baxter, who with Formal Line won the amateur 15 two and under, and then Josh came back and won the 15 two and over, over the under. Mm-hmm. How's that feel? It's wonderful. It's just a dream come true. He's well, a great horse. It's a, it is. Now he is a great horse. There's no doubt about it. I know that uh, you've been showing for a few years, though. How, how long have you been showing? Oh, gosh. Uh, since I was in uh, high school, college, I started showing. We always had horses. My dad loved horses. He used to show um, Colt. And then, uh, he, I have a picture of him back a long time ago when he went to a uh, horse show in Dallas. He showed a little Colt. We, we grew up with horses. Now, your husband doesn't show, though, does he? Or does no, he? No. I didn't think so. I know he was down there cheering for you. Yeah, that's uh, right. So no, that's, he's my cheerleader. Oh, well, that's the way it normally works. Uh-huh. The, the husbands and the grandfathers have good horses, but their wives and their grandchildren normally end up with them. That's right. I've, I've tried to get mine to interest in horses. They're interested in everything but horses. Yeah. And, uh, which, that's all right. I, I still love them. Well, are you going to show him more this year, or is this the last time you're going to show? I think this is the last time I show for this year, yeah. Well, it's a shame, because it's the last one that's going to be in this arena. I but know it. you can You can always brag in years to come that you was there on the final night. Uh-huh. Your horse showed both nights. Right. It won both nights. Right. And uh, that has to be a thrill. Oh, it and is. It, it does. It, I mean, I've never had that happen before. That's wonderful. Well, now you've got some other good horses because I've seen them, and uh, it's a, it, it's a blessing because these horses are, to me, they're something special. They really are. They're very unique and, and special, and they're just wonderful all-around horses for trail riding or showing or whatever you want to do. Well, just about anything you want to do with one. That's one thing we talked about. We've even talked about up in, in Shelbyville at one time five or six years ago. We had several races. We went to the old Milky Way. Okay. We raced there. We raced over in Federal on the track over there. Uh-huh. And we, we had a great time. We just kind of let it die down. But now there is a racetrack in Shelby. So we have talked about getting back in there and letting walking horses walk against walking horses. Oh, how I mean, neat. Well, you could have a running walk. Mm-hmm. You can have a... A canner. I mean, there's so many. Or you can have an all-out and run. As long as they're running against each other, mm-hmm. they would be excited. I think. Yeah. I know our others were. So I'm assuming these will be too. Well, I know you show performance. Have you ever shown flat shot? Uh, yes, I have. Mm-hmm. I kind of had a feeling you had. But... Back in the day, that's mm-hmm. all I had was flat shot. You know, we had them at our barn and home train. Right. That's what we did. Well, you like trail ride. Oh, I love trail ride. You know, most people, a lot of people, I won't say most people, but a large number of people, even trainers, will ride the performance during the week. On the weekend, they're out in the country on a trail trail riding horse having a good time. And a lot of these trainers now, they're working to train horses to do different things. You know, like the things that you would run into out in the woods, and that, that's important, too. Well, what, where, where about you live? I know it's in Louisiana, right? Alexandria, Louisiana, right in the center of the state. Is that right? Mm-hmm. You, you you know Virginia Stewart? Oh, yes. No, uh-huh. ain't she a peach? She is, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful she is one of my very dear friends, her and Jean. They uh, we eat, eat a lot of times, eat lunch together. Mm-hmm. But now they are... They are some special people. She's from Louisiana. Yeah, so. I've known her since the Dixie Jubilee days. Oh, we yeah. Oh, show oh, in Baton Rouge. Well, I figured you know, you're down in in Louisiana. I would thought that y'all not going to Tunica. The Tunica Horse Show? No, we're not going this year. But we I, have gone. It's, yeah. it's, I'm thinking it's going to be a good one. I, I really do. I believe, I believe it'll be real good. Well, I'm just glad that you took time out to come up and talk to us. Uh, and you're not, are you going to show any more at this show? Yeah, I have one more class. You Amateur got one more specialty. to go, huh? Yeah, what, what class is that? Amateur specialty. Amateur specialty. Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, we're going to be up here cheering for you. How's that? Well, thank you. I would uh, appreciate that. Right. Well, I want to thank you for coming by and sitting and talking to us. And one other question I want to 
does your trainer ever give you any tips? Every now and then. Every now. Do you listen? Do, do you listen? Do you listen to him? Absolutely. I always try to listen to him. I've had some of them say no. I turn that phone off, or I take it out of my ear and give it back to him. But I, I know that it's it's something else. Well, I've never done that. You, you never know. So, so even though you may not listen to him, you don't let him know you're not listening. That's right. That's, That's right. It. Just keep on riding. Absolutely. Well, Carol, I appreciate you taking time to come up and uh, visit with us. Uh-huh. You can say bye to everybody. Bye. And, and I do appreciate you coming up. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Winner of the 15 to and under Formal Line and Josh Watts for owner Carol Baxter. Yeah. Nice horse, but then it's Carol's real nicely. I've been knowing her for a long time. Well, she is now. She's real nice. I talked to her for quite a while down there. She, and uh, she went on that Louisiana circuit, that Hort Dixie circuit. Oh, yeah. Stuff like that. We showed my dad and all that. I've been knowing her for a long time there. That horse right there is just playing out good now. Yeah. Josh and Dale had a good show. Oh, down yeah, they did. Have a they good did. Show. Right here is your par performance amateur. I was sitting over there when we was getting ready to, to start packing up to leave because it was getting late at night. This this one right here come out and we watched him for a while. And I, I picked him. I told I told uh, James Wilson we were standing there. I said, that night yonder is going to get better and better. And uh, then I thought, I said, well, it's getting a little loose. And then all of a sudden locked back in. But Jose's full throttle and Lisa Envanger, she put on the show. She won it. True Platinum and Paul Sensing Reserve, Crimson Coach and Jamin Smith, Parole from Hard Time and Sister Milligan, Jen in Everything, John Gladney, Gold, Claudia Gribble, 90 yards, Jay Mitchell, and the rendezvous at the Ritz, Roxy Cole finished out the ribbons. But I thought Lisa Infinger did a fantastic nice. job of showing that horse now. That's a real nice horse right there. You know, ever since they put him down to a, a park performance, he has been, I mean, pr pretty much solid. That horse was good on pads, you know, yeah, Tim Gray. Had him for a while, and that's yeah. I had a chance. I used to ride him over at Tim's. Huh. And I mean, he's a real nice horse. Oh yeah, but I know when when he when he had pads on, he he was good. Yeah. But now they dropped him down to that part of oh, performance, yeah. and he 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 wins ninety percent of the oh, time. Yeah. He's a nice horse. He real is nice a horse. real nice horse. Right here's your youth championship, and this is when. Little B.B. Beasley turned it on. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley took the blue. A neon Cowboy and Riley Nichols reserve. Jose's Vindicator, Caroline Wesley Way. The Pink Panther, Joanna Mitchell. She's thrown, throwing shade, Storm Sims. He's predicted. Predicted, L's predicted storm, Frank Clark, and lace and lead, Grant Dykes finished out the ribbons. Some of these names are throwing me a curve. That baby can just flat ride yes, now. Yes, she can. She doesn't. She does not let it slow down. She just gets with it and keeps going. She does a good job. She really does. Her and her sister ride real well. I mean, and her mom. I mean, oh, all yeah. Them, all three of them ride good. Does a good job. But they've been in for a good while, too. Yeah, I talked to... Uh, her mother was talking about the first time she showed down there that her, her dad had got her a walking horse and to come down there yeah. and showed. Super Bowl MVP and B.B. Beasley for owner of B.B. Beasley. Your championship winner. I tell you what, just this right here, just... Uh, 
a night to remember. Yeah, it really yeah. is a night to remember because it's. And I hate to see it end. I really do. That's a great place oh, to have a, a horse show. show. I mean, everybody. I mean, it's a little touchy for everybody out there. Me and Charlie Green was sitting there talking. He was watching the show, and he was just saying, you know, that he hate to see this show end. Yeah. Like this. And here's your steak class. Walking Mr. Charlie and Sam Martin took the blue for Terry and Lisa Smith. Good Samaritan and Michael Wright was reserved for Larry and Pam Russell. And he's pushing the dollar, Steve Bean, for Rob and Roxy Cole finished out the ribbons. I tell you what, that walking Mr. Charlie, to me, is, is, a, is yeah. a plum good horse. He now he really is. And he got a good owner too. Yep, they do. We got yeah. super good owners. Now I, I enjoy talking to, to Terry and yeah. Lisa, but Sam Martin does a good job. Sam does a good job. And you know that's something about Jimmy. He 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 works with Jimmy. Yeah. But uh, Jimmy doesn't take care of a real good horse in the barn. No, I, I mean he he gives Sam some of them good ones. Sam does a good job with them. Yeah. But now Jimmy did the same thing with Dan Waddell. Yeah. And Dan's doing great now. Look at there. Walking Mr. Charlie and Sam Martin for Terry and Lisa Smith won the last class ever in the Morgan Arena. That's pretty much doing it all right there. Good deal, Sam. Well, I tell you, Jerry, it's a, it's a shame that that's over. I, yeah, I hate it. That's right. I really do. I hate uh, that that show is is gone. But it will be moving to uh, Huntsville, Alabama, to Alabama A and M. So okay. we'll get to see it. Yeah. And you're going to be showing Friday and Saturday night. Yes, sir. Well, I want to wish you luck. I don't know if we're going to make it over there. we got a bunch on our plate getting ready for the Classic and Tunica. Yeah. But we trying will, to support them. Yeah. That's it. We'll be back next week with another show. Yes, sir. We'll have something on here. That's right. Even if it's just me videoing a horse. <laughs> we always do. We'll see everybody again next week. See y'all later. <laughs>